Stephen Colbert, known for his satirical right-wing persona, is taking over from Letterman. But Colbert is not going to do the character. The Times' Bill Carter on the new Stephen Colbert, today on the New York Times Minute. Ni hao, James. Is that how you pronounce it, James? It's James. I grew up in Seattle. Colbert is so well known that it's easy to forget he's Comedy Central's number two man. He's been strategizing this move for a long time. Stephen Colbert's contracts were synced up with David Letterman's contracts over the past two or three cycles, specifically because they wanted to be available whenever Dave decided to step down. Am I hideous to you now, Dave? <laughs> One immediate challenge for the new host, CBS's ratings have been slipping as Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel focus on younger viewers. CBS is hoping to get in the game. And maybe, you know, recruit a new audience, an audience that hasn't been watching them in late night. And the next late night intrigue, Colbert's slot at 11.30 on Comedy Central is now open. It may not be filled by another man. I think they're going to find somebody and, and install a woman because it's time. It's time for a woman to succeed in late night.